This Illawa FCA season preview is brought to you by New Life Lutheran Church in Sterling, Illinois. The color purple is downright golden here in Dixon. The Dukes are coming off a fantastic 8-3 season, which sent them to the second round of the playoffs. That was all fun, but the offseason may have been even better. Well, we're working hard to continue the tradition that we're rebuilding here at Dixon High School. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a process that involves a lot of strength training, uh, a lot of commitment to character in terms of doing things right all the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, our kids are working hard at that. It's, uh, we're not there yet, but we're working hard. It seems like that's really bleeding into other sports too. I mean, there's kind of a uh, completeness about it too. Throughout the school. Yeah, it is. Um, we we got a good group of athletes coming through our building right now, and uh, they're students first and athletes second, and uh, they get along well together mm -hmm. uh, with all all sports. How great is it that you've got some ownership in that? You know, being a grad and everything too. I mean, is there a sense of uh, you know what's like? Uh, I go way back. You know, kind of thing. Well, it's <laughs> yeah, uh, it's 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 always nice to be home. So and and. To work uh, with with kids from your home, it's uh, parents that I went to school with, you know, and and, and some of them I didn't, but uh, it's still it's Dixon. It's very special to me. Mm -hmm. How fulfilling is it to see those results? You know, when you tell a, a young guy if you do this, you know, that there's potential for really good things. Well, that's why I'm in coaching. Yeah. Uh, that's why I'm in education. Mm -hmm. uh, I like working with kids. They're, they're not always going to get the the problem the first day of school. They're not uh, you know always going to get that that first play, but you keep working on it and. You take that lump of clay and you work it in the uh, state of art, and, mm. and that's why we're here, so to make a difference in kids' lives. So really, I mean, uh, for us, like an FCA, it's like we, we feel like coaches can have more influence than anybody, too. That's, that's a privilege, isn't it? It is. It's, it's a privilege, and it's an honor, and it's something that I, I hold very uh, true to my heart, that uh, this, is, this is something that I chose to, mm -hmm. for a career and, and uh, work hard at it and enjoy being in it. Now certainly the Dukes are focused on the here and now, all leading up to game number one. But the word legacy is pretty important around here as the seniors want to leave their mark on the program. A couple of years ago we were 0-9 and last year was an 8-3 season, so we know what we did. All the other teams in the conference know what we did, but we just got we know what we can do. We want to be better than last year. We just got to make sure we put in the work to do it. So a balance between uh, being fulfilled and motivated at the same time, right? Yes, sir. Most definitely. Yeah. What are the tools you guys have? I mean, I see some really good size, and it uh, looks like uh, something's been going on in the weight room, right? Yeah, our offensive line is overall a lot bigger than last year, and I think speed, we're still there. Our wide receivers still have great hands. We lost a lot of skill players from last year, but I think we'll be we'll pick up right where we left off last year and just keep it going. I want to go out with the bang for sure. I don't. Last year, junior, eight and three, want to do better than that this year. Got to, some coaches always been saying is uh, make sure we leave our legacy, and that's what us seniors want to do. That would be a lot of fun to be able to come back in a couple of years and have people still remember you and everything like that. It would be great. How does it speak to you, to you, young guy, how you've gotten to this point, too, that, uh, you know, it's not brain surgery, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's hard work and getting along. Right. So. It's, it's a lot of hard work. I mean, we're getting better now. It hasn't been so good in the past, but... It's good to finally turn around and have some fun playing, win mm -hmm. some games. Mm -hmm. And you could be one of those teams, again, uh, when the playoffs roll around that nobody wants to play. Is that kind of the, the crescendo you want? You know, to be yeah, we, we, don't, we want to be feared, I guess you could say, but uh, we, we hope we can make a deep run. It should, should be fun. And just some of the pieces that are definitely in place and some uh, opportunities before that first Friday night or what, I guess what you're saying. Yeah, there, it's, it's opportunities are... You know what you make it to be. You know it's it's we work hard and you just got to keep working hard and and, and knowing that uh, we just got to get better tomorrow than we were today. So just mm -hmm. keep that in thought and inch by inch is a cinch. I love that. Dixon has an outstanding Fellowship of Christian Athletes huddle led by Coach Jason Mead. How about you? Are you ready to start FCA at your college, high school, or middle school? To find out how you can contact me or check out our website at illawafca.org. With this FCA season preview, I'm Dan Pearson.